behavior is actually a really simple thing to understand. The vast majority of behavior um, is driven by reinforcers. So that means if you like a behavior or it's a good behavior, you should um, reinforce that behavior, do things that make it more exciting and more fun, like attention and rewards. And if a behavior is not helpful or you don't want it to keep happening, you need to not reinforce it. Um, and that's pretty much it. You know, that's called operant conditioning. Um, obviously, there are a lot of layers to that. But the basics of reinforcing the good stuff and not reinforcing the stuff we want to go away, that's really what drives most of behavior. So if we understand that and we keep that in mind, it's a really good guide. Um, as you know, um, the other thing that I always have in mind is relationships. Um, relationships, you know, to me are the, the most important part of life as a human being. Uh, that's a scientific fact. It's not, not just my opinion. You know, if you look at happiness studies, if you look at attachment studies, or you look at longevity studies, um, we are social beings. And if we can't, uh, have healthy relationships, you know, what's the point of, of, <laughs> of being here? So, um, that's another thing that weighs heavily on, on my work, um, and then, you know, the brain is, is obviously a really complicated uh, organ. It's the most complex kind of thing that we know of in, in the world. Um, but we also do understand a lot about it. Um, so again, if we can combine understanding behavior, understanding relationships, understanding the brain, we can have a really good um, roadmap as to how to help kids be strong and healthy and resilient uh, and kind. And that's, you know, I think what it's all about, right? Uh, I'm not here to suggest that behavior is going to be perfect. Um, that's not true for any any human being or, you know, other being. Um, but it certainly helps if we can keep those those really basic ideas that that drive, you know, human existence in, in mind. <laughs>